What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Suman and today's analysis video is going to be about the Premier League game between Burnley and Chelsea. So Chelsea changed their formation to a 4-3-3 for this game, with Mason Mount and Kai Havertz as the two attacking number 8s, with N'Golo Kante the lone sitting midfielder. And they also changed their formation to a 4-4-2 and also at times to 5-4-1 defensively. While Burnley, on the other hand, lined up in a 4-4-2 formation and they kept this solid 4-4-2 formation both with and without the ball. Chelsea started the game really well and they remained dominant throughout the game. The front three of Chelsea, especially the positions of Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner, created lots of issues for Burnley. So this is how the two teams were lined up on the ground whenever Chelsea tried to build their play from the back. Chelsea's 4-3-3 against Burnley's 4-4-2 formation. One of the front two of Burnley would press the centre-back on the ball, while the other one would cover N'Golo Kante. The two wide midfielders were covering the two Chelsea fullbacks, and the two central midfielders were covering the two number 8s of Chelsea. This way one of the Chelsea centre-backs was always free to receive the ball. But as soon as the free centre-back would receive the ball, the guy who was covering N'Golo Kante would move to press the centre-back, and the other guy would replace him and cover N'Golo Kante. So this way, even though Chelsea had control of possession, but their possession was mostly restricted to their own defensive third. Ashley Barnes is moving to press Zuma, Wood is covering N'Golo Kante, with McNeil on James, and Stephens on Guy Havertz. Thiago Silva and Mandy are totally free to receive the ball, as we saw in the animation earlier. Zuma plays the ball to reach James, who is immediately pressed by McNeil, with Stephens covering Guy Havertz, and Wood pressing N'Golo Kante. Same thing on the other side as well. Brownhill is covering Ben Chilwell, Westwood on Mason Mount, Wood on Kante, and Chelsea once again forced to play the ball back to their centre-back. And here we can see the complete picture of Burnley's 4-4-2 formation. Ashley Barnes would move to press Zuma with Wood on N'Golo Kante. Stephens and Westwood were covering Kai Havertz and Mason Mount, with the two wide midfielders pressing the two Chelsea fullbacks, and similarly, the team will adjust the position whenever the ball goes to the other side. So Chelsea were enjoying possession, but most of that possession was restricted to Chelsea's defensive third, with the centre-backs mainly rotating possession from one side to the other side. And this is where Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner came into play. As the game progressed, Mason Mount and Kai Havertz started getting narrow, to force the two central midfielders to get narrow. This opened the gaps in the half spaces for Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner to drop deep and receive the ball from the centre backs. And that forced the two wide midfielders to get narrow and cover the half spaces. This opened the spaces for the Chelsea fullbacks to move up and receive the long passes from their centre backs. Mason Mount and Kai Havers are forcing Westwood and Stephens to get narrow to open the gaps in the half spaces for Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner. The positions of Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner have forced the wide midfielders to get narrow. Now if the wide midfielder step out to cover the Chelsea fullbacks, then they will leave Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner totally free to receive the ball directly from their centre backs. And if the wide midfielders decide to step narrow to cut the passing lane to Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner, then they will leave the wide passing option totally open for Chelsea to pick their fullbacks. Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner are keeping the wide midfielders narrow and now both James and Chilwell are totally free to receive the ball and help Chelsea move the ball forward. Thiago Silva to Ben Chilwell who pulls the fullback out of his position and Timo Werner is now ready to attack the half space. Here again, Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner are occupying the half spaces, forcing the Burnley midfield to get narrow to help Chelsea build their play using the wide areas. Since Werner and Hakim Ziyech were playing very central, so the attacking width was mostly given by the Chelsea fullbacks, and thus Chelsea mostly had a formation of 2-3-5 with possession. Burnley decided to keep their front two high and wide to catch Chelsea on transitions by playing first-time passes in the wide areas behind the Chelsea fullbacks. Chelsea's offensive formation of 2-3-5 with the fullbacks staying high and wide to give the attacking width, and Burnley are still keeping the same 4-4-2 formation and they are keeping the front two high and wide to catch Chelsea on transitions. Reese James and Ben Jilwell are trying to help Chelsea by providing the attacking width. So as soon as Burnley won possession, they would immediately look to attack the wide spaces.
Again, winning possession and immediately looking to isolate their front two against the two Chelsea centre backs. But credit to Zuma and Thiago Silva, who worked really hard in this game to win six out of the total eight ground duels and neutralizing the front two of Burnley on transitions. This time Ben Chilwell is caught on transition, but Kante is there to step in and help Chelsea on transition. Here again, Rhys James is caught on transition, but N'Golo Kante is there to step in to help Chelsea cover the wide area on transition. The combination of Tammy Abraham and Timo Werner created loads of issues for Burnley's defence. Tammy was constantly dropping deep and he was forcing the centre-back out of his position and Timo Werner was trying to occupy the open space. Tammy Abraham drops deep and he pulls the centre-back out of his position and Timo Werner immediately tries to attack the space that was left open by the centre-back. Long was taken out by Tammy Abraham and Timo Werner immediately attacks the space that was left open by Long. This has forced the full-back to step narrow and cover the central space and now Ben Chilwell is totally free to receive the ball on the wide area. Chelsea are finally back on track after a rather rough start. The biggest positive so far has been Chelsea's defence. Their defence is looking very solid after a very long time. Chelsea are yet to concede a goal when all three of their new defensive signings, Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell and Mandy have started a game together. So far Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell and Mandy have started five games together and Chelsea were able to keep clean sheets in all the five games. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel of Frank Hollid. I'll put his channel's link in the description. He has some very good Chelsea related content which I'm sure you will all enjoy. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.